Here I'm going to show you how to access your Microsoft Access data, both on the web and on web-enabled devices like smartphones and tablets. To do this, you're going to need your Access database, which will consist of a file with the file extension .mdb. You'll need a copy of Alpha Anywhere. The trial is fine, and you can get it at alphasoftware.com. And you'll need a PC or a Mac running Windows on it. A parallels and Boot Camp work just fine. In this tutorial, we're going to assume that you've already installed Alpha Anywhere. But if you need help with installation, we also have a video available, as well as free technical support to assist you. For details, go to alphasoftware.com slash new user support. When you first install Alpha Anywhere, you'll be asked whether this is a trial version or whether you want to enter your serial number. If it's a trial, you'll then be asked to register. Next, you'll get to the News and Updates tab of the Select Workspace dialog box. We're going to click on the Workspaces and Tasks tab, and we'll click the New Empty Workspace button so we can create our new project. I'll click OK and create a new folder and a new file name. Alpha Anywhere then opens either one or both of its control panels. The control panel we want is called the Web Projects Control Panel. So we're going to click the Web Projects button here on the toolbar to bring it to the front. Now we're going to use Alpha's Flying Start Genie to do most of the work for us. So we'll click New, we'll click Flying Start Genie, and we'll click OK. Now the first thing we need to do is tell Alpha where our access database is located. So we'll click Define Connection String. We'll go up here to Use a Named Connection String. We'll click Edit Saved Connections, and in the dialog box that appears, we'll click New. Let's give the connection a name. You can type in any name you want. It doesn't really matter, and it doesn't have to match the name of your database. OK, now we're going to click the Build button, and here's where we're going to tell Alpha where to look. First, make sure connection type is set to Access. By the way, Alpha Anywhere can do this for lots of other kinds of databases too, not just Access. But for now, we're going to set it to Access. OK, so we'll click the File Name button and choose our Access MDB file. I'm going to use a sample one that was included with Alpha Anywhere. If your database has a password, go ahead and type it in now. And click Test to make sure everything is working. Now click OK and click OK again to close the New Connections dialog. Then click the Close button to close the Alpha DAO Connections dialog box. So we're back to the Connection String drop-down box, and we'll choose the Connection String we just made. Then we'll click OK, and we're back to the Flying Start Genie. Now we can move on to Tab 2, Select Tables. In the column on the left, you should be seeing the tables and views that make up your database. You can choose the ones you want to include by clicking on them and then clicking the right arrow button. You can also add all of the tables with a double right arrow. And you can use the left arrow and double left arrow to remove tables. With the tables selected, we're actually going to skip over tab 3, which is a tab for more advanced settings, and we'll go right to tab 4, Finish. On this tab, we'll leave the default settings as they are and click the Finish button. You'll be prompted whether you want to save these settings. You don't have to. A notice appears telling us it's about to begin. It will then prompt you to start the application server if it's not running. Go ahead and click OK. You're left with a small dialog box asking if you want to do a live preview or a remote test. Let's do a live preview for now so that we can see it on the screen right away. At this point, your data is ready to be seen searched, and edited through a web browser. But don't worry, for security, it's accessible only to you on this computer. So let's take a look. What Alpha Anywhere has done is built what we call a tabbed UI or tabbed user interface, and it's opened it in a web browser. Right now, we're actually viewing it in Internet Explorer. Here on the left are the tables and views from your access database. And by clicking on a table, it opens a new tab with data from that table. That's why we call it a tabbed UI, because it opens tabs. The data you see is being displayed in what we call a grid. 
grids can be searched, they can be sorted, you can add, edit, and delete records as well, and you can change the look, feel, functionality, however you like. So let's do a quick review. To begin, we created a new workspace to hold our project. Then we went to the Web Projects Control Panel and opened the Flying Start Genie. We told the Flying Start Genie the location of our database by building a connection string. And we specified the tables and views from the database that we wanted to access from the web. Then the Flying Start Genie created a tabbed UI interface with grids of each of the tables and views we selected. I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.